before the incident, Ishu was always the fun cousin. Growing up, he frequently brought me out during the weekends with my auntie. His family and mine were very close. When the incident occurred, everything changed. The once happy family never to be the same again. My cousin's main caregivers are Auntie Jenny and Uncle Thomas. At their age, they should be enjoying retirement. However, they spend their days caring for their son. Even till now, he got sickness. I still am the one who look after him. In the middle of the night, a little bit of his cough or phlegm, I'm sure to wake up. That shows that how much concern I have given him. Ishu was Auntie Jenny and Uncle Thomas' only son. They only had him after 16 years of marriage. He is their entire world. Uncle Thomas told me that when Ishu was growing up, he was a very playful kid. He was healthy and very active. As a young boy, he is very, very mischievous. Actually, playful. He looks cute and he likes to have outings, playing outside and all that. Before the diagnosis, the family shared a ton of fruitful memories together. Ishu had gotten married and had a daughter. In those years, the family took frequent trips to Thailand during the Chinese New Year. There, there was a time when we went to Thailand with a family for a few days, of course, we are very happy. We enjoy the trip, and uh, this is a new place we I have never been. So we spend about four or five days in that area, and I've seen so much of uh, new places where they brought me. Went to see the temple. We in Thailand, nothing but temple we have to visit. That is all. Uncle Thomas and Auntie Jenny had a lot of aspirations for him. As an only son, they only had him to rely on to care for them when they retired. For many years, they lived a carefree life. You promised me, say you, you want to bring me there, so better get okay. Right? However, their hopes and dreams faded away during one fateful trip. In 2013, Ishu was going on a trip to Chiang Rai in Thailand. Ishu, his wife June, and his daughter Iris were visiting the wife's family. It was supposed to be a normal trip. Auntie Jenny had been unable to come along due to her work obligations. She remembered the moment she found out. Well, at the very moment, I was, I feel like fainting down. Well, I really cannot take it, to be honest. You know, when the doctor told me that he, he, he caught uh, JE, that is the Japanese aphylitis. Auntie Jenny went on to explain how rare of a disease JE was. Issue might be the only one in Singapore suffering severely from it. For the first three years of the diagnosis, June had been the sole caregiver for Ishu. She didn't have a job at that time, so she took care of him. After that point, she had gotten a job which left Auntie Jenny and Uncle Thomas to be his primary caregivers. Just recently, Uncle Thomas had fallen ill, so Auntie Jenny is left to take care of Ishu alone. Early morning, I feed him, then I brought him to the toilet to bathe him, come out, dress him up, and still got to clean, clean all the phlegm from his throat. That is my day-to-day -day job. And besides that, I still have to look after the father's uh, the business, a uh, career business. 
On top of that, Ishu would also occasionally have appointments at Tan Tok Seng Hospital. Auntie Jenny would bring him out using a wheelchair. She would call a van that would pick them up and bring them to the hospital. With all the medical needs and appointments, they would surely need a lot of financial support. Auntie Jenny and Uncle Thomas get supplies from various organisations. One of them being Su Chi Singapore, they provided them with issues daily needs which are milk and diapers. These items are typically more expensive but with their help, it eases the financial burden on the two parents. Considering their older parents, Auntie Jenny is worried about what comes next. What will happen when she's no longer around? That's why I don't know. We are we, I and my husband, we are old already. He's 80 over, I'm 77. She, however, does her best to stay strong and remain hopeful. As long as I'm still alive, I'm strong, I can look after him. If my husband lives longer than me, I will tell him. La. Watching them like this, I also hope that Auntie Jenny and Uncle I Thomas can live a long days. life for Ishu's sake. Ah. I don't want to see him cast aside. I also hope that his daughter would speak up more and be mature enough to look after him. All this time, I really respect Auntie Jenny and Uncle Thomas for all they have sacrificed for their son. It really shows the type of people they are. I sometimes middle of the night cannot sleep. Uh. And this, he, he also cannot sleep. Uh. Then I make, I make him laugh. Uh. I appreciate their efforts and respect oh, that they are doing this you. without an external caregiver. Uh. Hmm? Despite their old age, they are not giving up on him. Their love for him transcended all physical limitations that they may have. They are truly unstoppable forces and I admire them. I am proud to know people as selfless as them. Close. Close. Someone.